Yo, yo. 100 gold budget loadout. Let's get straight to it. You're not gonna lie, for 100 gold, this loadout is sick. Pretty sick, man. I had, to, I had to go easy on the bandages. Keep it under 100, but... But it's pretty sick. If you uh if you just chill for a bit on the on the trade market, you can usually get a pretty decent spell book for 50 gold. Most of them go for 50, but sometimes you get like a little plus two, like I did. I was just looking for any green spell book. Also, we got the plus one plus will, plus one knowledge plus one will on pants and the gloves. This is a pretty sick loadout for 100 gold. <clears throat> Sadly, it's not something you can run every raid unless you stock up on these two things. Whenever you see these in your merchant, you just gotta buy a bunch of them. Because they rotate out. These mimics are so annoying. Just watch. Okay, well he stopped attacking. But normally, like whenever you try to magic missile them, they'll interrupt it. I don't know if that war is gonna sell. I need to med quick, I'm out of zaps. These boots are an upgrade, extra move speed. Move speed is king. Someone commented that on one of my videos. And uh, he couldn't be more right. I mean, it's pretty true, but also like additional damage is really that's the real stat that is king. Blue speed is nice, but you can get a lot of damage if you run additional damage in every slot. I'm pretty sure you can one tap zap. Actually, I know for a fact you can because <laughs> I was running that build for a while. A couple days ago. I mean, it depends like if they have gear and if it's a barb. But you can one-tap zap squishies for sure. Hit this med quick and then we'll keep going. I just did a uh, level 1 gameplay and let me tell you, it feels really good to have a spellbook again. And like all the perks. That uh that default mage staff, just the casting speed on it is so slow. Like I think they need to buff it, honestly. It's just so hard to do anything. When it takes ten years to cast. And even with perks, it's just the default staff is so bad. I hear someone. Yeah, someone over here. Like a mage? Or a player. Okay, we got a mage and a fighter. Seems pretty geared, he has heals and stuff too. Oh, oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Love to see it, baby.
That's a very big kill. That chest piece alone will sell. Chest piece alone will sell for a lot. Ah, I wonder where that other mage went. Here's somebody down there. Right, let's make sure we get everything. What is this? Fighter, this guy killed. Default. <gasps> Oops. Uh, that one goblin warrior is gonna chase me to the ends of the earth. <laughs> okay, he finally turned around. I don't really feel like messing with any of these mobs now that we have all this sick loot. This sells for literally so much. I'm just gonna get out now. Ooh, hello. I can never turn down a fight, even if I do have some sick loot. I'm gonna save the wizard. I got you, bro. I'm debating if I wanna kill him. He's gonna dot his own, or he's gonna push in. Oh, he dodged his own, yeah, Smerlin. That's basically my kill. Uh, if I was playing Fortnite, that would've been my kill. <clears throat> All right, um, shoot, where did that fighter go? Okay, okay. I'm gonna pop this health potion, and I'm gonna see what this guy had. He looked pretty good, too. Holy shit. Okay, that's just a ring. A regal is actually really good. Really good stats on the regal. Like base stats, I mean. For armor rating and stuff, but... I don't have room for it, so... I'm just gonna hit this med and try to make it to zone. He, he started voiping me. <laughs> I could have like killed him sooner too, while I was invis. I was just kind of chilling. I was debating. I kind of wanted. Oh, there's actually actually here. All right, sweet. We'll just hit this then. I I was debating. I kind of wanted to spare him, you know. Like I saved him because, like, you know, fellow wizard, wizard gang shit. But then, I don't know. It looked like he was gonna shoot a fireball at me, but he just hasted himself instead. But at that point, I'd already shot him. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, the rest of the video is just gonna be me selling the gear, sped up slow down sped up slow down in between trades when i'm looking for another trader uh, it's going to be 8x speed and then when i'm actually trading someone it's either 1x speed or 2x speed depending how long it took them to give me my stuff i think i get a trade here but it he instantly closes so i get another one a few more and then i finally find this guy i put all three up because i was trying to sell all three at once i think he wants the helmet and the plate body so i tell him 550 gold for both which he quickly agrees to I get 550 for the purple chest and the helmet with additional damage on it sadly I spent a good amount of time here trying to sell this epic purple longsword and I had this guy no this is the guy the next guy the next guy offers me 150 I think or maybe I sell the boots first, or the gloves. Yeah, okay, I'm selling the gloves. The gloves actually sold for a lot, because I think they had all attributes. It was a good chunk of change. And then, um... And then I sell the plates and the boots. The plate legs and the boots for 100 gold. Just because I wanted to get rid of it. That was kind of a low price. But yeah, here, here's what I was talking about with the longsword. I... I could have sold it to that guy for 100. I think someone also offers me 150. Maybe not. But either way, like, I could have sold it for 150 250 I probably could have got 300 just because it's purple if I sat there long enough. But I was trying to get into the next raid. Money was never really a problem for me over the playtest, so I just kind of said, alright, 
50 gold. It's basically given away for free, um, but first person to trade me, they can't have it. I then head over to sell the jewelry. I've got this pennant with strength and all attributes on it, so that's going to go for a good amount. I think this guy pays 300. I think that might have been what I was asking for, so but either way, good enough for me. And then I got this ring here. I originally wanted it lower for it, but I was getting flooded with trades, so I was like, all right, let me up the price a little bit. Try and get 200. I get two offers for 150 in a row. I'm like, bro, 200, bro. I'm getting flooded with trades. And he's like, cap, but okay. <laughs> no, I really was getting flooded with trades though. So he ended up paying the 200. It was definitely worth that much. And uh, I'm stuck with this last pendant. I tried to sell it for a little bit, but um, it wasn't really worth selling. It wasn't really invest worth investing the time. So. I think I just call it a day and you know I'm at 1800 that's more than 1200 profit so I'm pretty happy with that and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one peace